In the East Bay, the uh, Berkeley City Auditor has released a review of the Berkeley Police, their response times, their stops, and the findings are similar to earlier information showing that police stop black people at a significantly higher rate compared to their population in the city. However, recently enacted police reforms may reduce unnecessary interactions between people of color and Berkeley Police. Ground Force has Zeke Badyun has the story. No more being stopped for low-level offenses that do not impact public safety, ending stops for not wearing a seatbelt or expired tags, and requiring written consent for consent searches. These are just some of the sweeping police reforms passed last summer by the Berkeley City Council that are now in effect in the city of Berkeley. Early indications of how it's going. Well, we are, uh, I think our department began to implement the policy uh, uh, several months ago. So we are getting more, more information about how police are using force. It has resulted in, in um, less force used by our police. Decreasing opportunities for potential uses of force by police after stopping someone for a nonviolent offense is the goal, says Berkeley Mayor Jesse Aragin. Um, and required e greater reporting um, and limits around the types of, of force that police can use um, in a variety of different incidents. The momentum for police reform has moved all the way up to the state legislature, where Senate Bill 2, the Police Officers Certification and Civil Rights Bill, was recently passed by safety committees in the state Senate and the Assembly. Senator Scott Weiner is the principal co-author of SB 2. Well, Senate Bill 2 does two primary things. Uh, first, it makes sure that bad cops can be decertified and no longer be able to work as police officers. Right now, uh, an officer who may have uh, had real problems uh, can often just go to another police department. Second thing it does is it eliminates qualified immunity uh, for police officers in California, which is a defense that officers can use when they have violated someone, someone's uh, rights, someone's constitutional rights by using excessive force. Statewide police reforms are the logical next step, says Mayor Aragin. And I think that's ultimately what we need. We do, while it's important that local communities take steps, we do need state, state intervention to make sure that this is the policy statewide, standards around police use of force, because um, things do sometimes escalate. Hazik Madyun, Quran 4 News.